<laughs> so, good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dino the Genetic Marvel, and with me as always is Crystal Morenzi. How are you, Crystal? Oh my God, <laughs> so, just an FYI guys, we did about like eight minutes of intro, and all of a sudden Crystal says, Aw, shit! Now, <laughs> Most people would just say to themselves, I, oh my goodness, are you okay? And when I look at her camera and they see my phone looking at her, she's like, a, I go, is everything sh okay? And she goes, I don't know. And I'm like, well, you said oh shit. I didn't say oh shit. So if anyone's going to know here, it's probably you. Earlier, yeah. <laughs> she she used, you know, the best part is she wanted to show up. This is what, I'll tell you what happened, guys. So, number one, she realized I'm wearing a shirt, so I'm going to show you that it's, a, it's got a little stick man having sex with the word it, which means fuck it. It says fuck it. Right. Now, now, at that point, knowing that my shirt was hilariously droll, she said, well, my background's way more professional than most people's, especially yours. Now. When she did this, she said, look at my painting of a big middle finger. Now, this is where it gets, don't touch your fucking camera, lady. I see your hands moving, don't fucking touch that thing. Is it still beeping red? God fucking damn it. What she did, she's like, oh, I think I zoomed in funny. That was what happened, people. She zoomed in funny. The camera burst into flames when she touched it. <laughs> Only because she, she, the camera knew she'd insulted my background. So, the camera defended my honor when I wasn't there. And I think that should be applauded. Oh my God, maybe it does. Absolutely. Maybe it does. Because I told you, okay, so last night I was stressed out about a certain video. And it didn't wasn't loading properly for me. And then... The camera just deleted it. The camera was just like, go fuck yourself, fine. You don't get this video. On top of that, so... there was this person that kept on texting her saying, hey, are you going to send that to me? Uh, you haven't sent it yet. Have you, are you going to send it soon? Like, Let me know when you sent it. So I don't want to miss it. I left my camp. I left my, my whole system, my whole rig I left on all night long, just waiting for a message saying, hey, it's sent. And I'm like... All right, well, I don't know what's happening. So in the morning, I'm like, hey, just let me know. Now, now this is the thing, and this is the problem with texting in general, is that it doesn't, it doesn't communicate any mm -hmm. sort of emotion behind it, right? So you read yeah. it now. So when, and, and you know what, and I don't mean to put this on you, but when you're already stressed, Yo. you're going to take a text and be like, well, fuck you, fatty. Oh, yeah. Right? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm not, she, you're not hearing me going, hey, I just friendly reminder, <laughs> no big deal, just in case I know you're busy. But he uh, but knows we got a lot going on, and I have to babysit, listen, and I got shit to do, I got a family to take care of, I got like, listen, you know. Knowing, listen, there's two, knowing and giving a shit are two very different <laughs> I'm just joking. I know. I know you have a lot on the go. That's fine. So you say, hey, <laughs> do you mind if I say... See, this is the thing. Is, this is where communication is... I don't need to be famous. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I can't, I can't deal with your fat ass. I'm famous. I'm very important. So, you know, you just wait your turn, fatty. And if I feel like it, I'll send it at some point when it's convenient for me. He's so fucking like, he's like, he knows that usually Shh. I send him every single video. Exactly. Like, pretty much within a good time. Oh, absolutely. So, like, absolutely true. Just lately, I have been just, I'm sorry, I got a lot cooler lately. The past few days, I've been a couple hours later or like a lot of hours later. But never the next day. Usually it's a, or <laughs> a day second. later. Okay, once the next day. Whatever. Once, once the next That's day. That's fine. But <laughs> but that's the whole thing is see this is this is now that you guys heard us vent about our personal <laughs> oh are you kidding that's not personal i'll tell you about the shits i had today trust me there's nothing so no yeah. but the whole point is this so. and this is why this is and you know what listen if you're in a frustrated state i'm gonna tell i'm telling you this on camera so you can remind yourself yeah. by watching this later okay <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> specifically this. If like you feel a week and a half like, later, because that's how far in advance we are, everybody. Yeah. Just so you know the pressure needed for these videos. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> the best response I got, are you editing it tonight? <laughs> Which was a straight up, shut the fuck up, or I will fucking come to your house and gut you, fatty. That's what that was. And I'm like... 
no, I'm just reminding you everything's cool. And I'm like, see, what you, what needs to happen here is I thank you, you for have, your understanding of my. That's that's how women lie. Well, thank you for understanding. That's a, I don't care about you, what you think. That's what that means. That okay? is not true. It is I didn't true. Care, <laughs> no, because if I didn't care, then I wouldn't try so Trust hard me. in order to get it done. The best part, see, that's the thing. See, okay. <laughs> you know? There are certain things that come with being fat, okay? <sighs> I am lazy. Now, sensitive. because I'm lazy, I am sensitive too. You're right. I am a gentle flower that requires adoration and to be held in esteem above it, everything else, okay? So, and the spot. But what I do. That's right. That's right. Now, what I've learned though is when you are in a frustrated state trying to accomplish things, that is the specific point when everything goes to shit. So, and I'll tell you this, and you know what? I had a I had a track record of this happening at work where I would come to work, I would toil for like two, three hours, I've accomplished nothing. <laughs> nothing would be accomplished. And I'd go, yes. I'd have a stack of work that's like, you know, a foot and a half high. <laughs> and I just go, nope. Sorry, guys. Listen, <coughs> I can't. And they're like, what, what do you mean? I'm like, I need to leave. I need to clear my head. I'm not, whatever I do today is going to get screwed up. I need the day off. And I would call my boss. I'm uh -huh. like, I, I need to, I need to go. I just, I need to not be here. And she would be like, oh. are you okay? I'm like, no, I'm not okay. She goes, are you sick? I'm like, I'm going crazy. I need a day. <laughs> I need to just go relax. I need to just get my head out of it. I'll come back. And the yeah. thing is the next day I would come back and I would rip through that work. Like it was going out of style. So when I'm yeah. like, Hey, still waiting on that thingy. You say, listen, <laughs> I'm losing my shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say it tomorrow. I'm gonna okay. take a minute. If you no, no, if you just say, I did that the one night, I'm gonna, you, which was great. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. Yeah. Let me know when it's sent. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna say, I had to do that. Hey, the one night. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Because me saying, hey, you haven't sent that, is me going, something's going on. I have no idea what it is. I would love to talk about <laughs> it. I'd love to be helpful, but I have zero clue. <laughs> It he only wants to be helpful so he gets done and it gets sent and he gets his video. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't care. Fuck you, asshole. You know what the worst part is? This is like the fourth episode. Okay, the fourth, fourth in for the last three or four episodes, she every periodically will look down and I know she's looking at her bomb because she placed it too far away. Now, Not because she's so frazzled, she's like, nah, it's right beside me. This whole bitch. This whole bitch we're doing yeah. here is like, it's just, you know, it is a fully automatic that's, that's bomb, people. Down. Shit's going down tonight. Okay? Shit is going Shit down. Shit is getting real. I <laughs> wore my foxy lady dress, too. Woo. Oh, who likes to feel pretty now, asshole? Sure. Fuck you. Yeah. No, listen. And we get to mention my out. purple hair because my purple hair is new to this video. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we I talked about her one. fucking hair for like 20 goddamn minutes and it's gone. See how it happens when you try and take this over? This is a team effort or no effort at all. Team effort. I'm not trying to take. I don't know over. why people think I'm aggressive. I don't know what it is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know at all. I have no idea. <laughs> it's in their head. It's all in their head. I am not an aggr I am not aggressive. Ooh, ooh, Dino. Guess what? Chicken butt. This gives us yet another opportunity to go down the alien hole. Oh, that's gonna last for all 30 seconds. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> you know what? Actually, the interesting part. Um, I was just watching it. It's the Joe uh, Rogan again. Yeah, you know what? He, it was really see. This is the problem, and this is it. Was, it goes back to the four one one stuff, right? Where there has to be certain criteria met for it to be to for it to qualify for these kind of things, right? We're seeing a lot of like it's like, and that's why you're like an unidentified flying object is not an alien. It is exactly an unidentified flying object. It means we don't know its point of origin. We don't know its destination. We don't know its country or air, uh, of, or, or government of uh, origin. We don't know the technology being used. It's unidentified. It's not 
oh shit, it's fucking aliens. That's not what it is. And that's the real qualifier. No. Now, I'm not saying it isn't aliens. What I'm saying is we have no idea. Yeah. It's the same thing with well, the missing. Well, look at all the drones and everything. <sighs> look at all the drones that we don't all know about. Like all we, the ones that are oh, yeah. invisible to the human eye. Like, And we only know about them when they present them. So all the stuff that they're working on, we don't know about until it gets presented. See, right? and what I was thinking to myself was, you know, the perfect drone would be somebody <laughs> who looked like a human being and then pretended to be human. Maybe. No, I don't. <laughs> Maybe. You'll never know. That's awesome. This is no. This never, is, oh my God, you could totally be on Men in Black. You could be the new. Never mind, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you were gonna say the old white guy, you fucking Igor. asshole. <laughs> the new Igor. What? Who the fuck was Igor? <laughs> or not Igor? What's the guy's name at first? Of with the, the at the end, the main the main bad guy that eats the the uh, or Earl Earl, not Igor Earl. You know Earl. The uh, when the <laughs> the guy that eats the cockroaches, like he has to eat sugar, sorry, and cockroaches. He's like a giant cockroach at the end. Why do I need like, a cockroach? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> no, you oh, end up being Oh, because I pulled my skin? Oh, you go to hell, you old lady. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, no. I oh, know. I was just like, I was just... Never mind, I was still She's saying I can end, only so pay the cockroach. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you could be one of the agents. You could operate was... one of those little guns. <laughs> Why can't I operate a big gun? <laughs> <laughs> I am used to operating a big gun, thank you very much, and everyone has been satisfied. God damn it. It did the job every time. Every time. Every time. Not really. Uh, that's impossible. Sometimes I'm just like, listen, I'm tired. You just get yourself off. I'm going to bed. I'm not. Sorry. That shit happens sometimes. What are you going to do? It listen. happens. It happened, it's happened to me. It's happened to me. I've done it. <laughs> I've been like, boy, well. <laughs> that uh, seemed th fun. Thanks for going down on me for 25 really minutes, but I'm tired now. You did bring my bell a few times. You have fun checking off oh in the corner, God. but don't look at me while I'm sleeping. 25 yeah, minutes. Gonna... I'm just saying. My God, I just started sweating thinking about that. 25 minutes. Who are these people? Who are these people? My email is C M O R E C Y. <laughs> don't finish it. Please, for the love of God, don't finish it. It's bad enough how many friend requests and dick pics you get right now. Do not share this shit. That is a bad idea. <laughs> I you know what's you. funny is that I must be a classy chick because I really don't get a lot of dick pics. Like people, don't say that. They send me. Huh. Don't say that because now you're gonna have people going. Well, <laughs> no, because <laughs> I want them to still think that I'm. Class. But like, I get marriage proposals and stuff. I don't get dick pics. Not a lot. Like that's a good. Weird. I think that's a. Like, that's not something you should complain about. I don't think that's. Uh, I no, think that's I don't. A, it just makes me feel classy. Yeah. Um, like, I'll tell they you, actually I've tell never me their name a, before I've, they send me their penis. I have <laughs> received some dick pics, like jokingly. I've but, seen some. Uh, yeah, but uh, I can't say it made me feel made me feel classy. That's yeah. I. <laughs> although, like, it's like maybe they they don't. I don't know. Maybe they're not getting turned on by me. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh my god. No. Seriously, we're going to do this shit again? No. Yes, oh you're god. a pretty lady with nice purple hair, okay? <laughs> Everyone knows it. Okay, you're the pretty one out of the two of us, but okay? Why don't they send me dick pics? <laughs> maybe they respect you as a human being lesbians. and not a piece of meat. <laughs> That's true. It's like lesbians <laughs> don't hit on me. Like I don't get dick pics and lesbians Listen, don't hit on me. When I'm clean <laughs> shaven, lesbians hit on me, okay? Wrong. <laughs> So, see, you get the lesbian. That's good, though. Maybe I'm they're okay trying to that. turn you. Oh, wait, no, is that the other way around? I guess it's the other way around. Maybe they're trying to check themselves. Ooh, you should take that as a compliment. I do take that if, as a like, if, Oh, yeah, because you're like the only penis that they want, then. You should take this a big. There's your lordship. It's very. Right you know there. what? It's it's very perplexing when you <laughs> see what people do. Like, people. I, I, it's very perplexing what drives people. And I've seen it, like, I've been, I, I looked at a couple lists that somebody sent to me, like, they were funny, and they were, like, uh, good and bad pickup lines, and I'll tell you, there were no good ones, they were all bad, but the difference was the girl was like, I'll fuck you, and you're like, that's a pity fuck, man, I wouldn't, you didn't earn uh, that shit, you just, it's just sad. 
Uh, I've fallen for some really bad ones. <laughs> I, I've even heard them used on other people and still fall for it. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Why the same person? So I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I, don't I don't understand. You know what? I, I, will I will never understand women, and I'm okay with it. I'm just like, all right, I don't man, understand I'm women. Not, I don't, I'm, no. I have no idea what's going on up here. I'm like, I don't claim to know shit. Like, I still don't get it why we get our time. Well, I don't even like it. I think it's gross. I'd rather go buy condoms and tampons. Like, like at least I know I'm getting some and I'm being safe about it. Instead of dying. Instead of dying. <laughs> I, think, me I, out. I think you and I have really had some different times in your life. I, I don't know, like, I don't know what happened. I don't, I, I don't understand. I, I thought I had, a, like, I had a, I thought I had a, like a mediocre upbringing. Like it was just like. It was so a generic thing, and, <laughs> right? and then like the more the more people I talked to, the more I realized, no, I had a fucking stellar childhood. Like it was magically <laughs> delicious. My divorce was fantastic in comparison to other people's. Like she took money from me, man, and everything, and like it was awesome in comparison to shit people go through. And I'm like, listen, I'm a pretty fat guy, and I walk through raindrops apparently. Like this is, like I don't. Yeah. Like, it's weird, man, because I hear some you crazy shit. You should have shit. your own theme song. I do have my own theme song, and it's great. It's, but it's it's just so... Mine's Freebird. We already talked about that, but I still swear by it. It's like every white girl outside of the big city, is that's their song. Freebird. No shit. Or Sean Paul. Shake that thing come on and shake that thing that's all the girls in the city it's all the girls in the city get shake that thing all the girls outside the city get free bird that's how that works Fucking see so hell. i'm a little bit of a and b oshawa doesn't count as a city sorry <laughs> i'm not in the city i don't no, live I'm, in oshawa I'm, okay I'm, i live in oshawa but i don't live live in oshawa I'm staying at the moment in Emotionally, Oshawa, she in is away from Oshawa <laughs> in the forest. And just physically at her. the moment. <laughs> yes, yes. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yes, I'm a bad my inner self. Oh my God. So I realize what society is reminding me of these days. Do you want to know? Sure. <laughs> Those PC I'm babies on South Park. You know, like on South Park. Do you ever watch South Park? Yeah, which babies? So when the principal, oh. the, the PC principal and the PC, um, yeah. like the teacher or whatever, the coach or whatever, <laughs> um, when they have a baby together and they have like a bunch of PC babies and, <laughs> and they're like, are those PC babies? I, so and, I don't... <laughs> and they all start crying over like every little thing. And you're like, <laughs> that sounds like a great episode. I mean, like, so I don't avidly <laughs> watch, really is. I don't avidly watch <laughs> South Park, but I do enjoy it every time I've oh. watched it. Uh, it's just it's just a I've bit much. I've owned every uh, single season of South Park on DVD. Christmas is coming. I, I got it. you. Don't worry. Dude. I'm like, here's some South Park. I don't know what else to do. South Park. What am I going to do? I don't know. No, see, this is, this is the problem. See, I... Okay, here's a question for you, okay? It's like, realistically, okay. when I see that, like, I remember the movie so vividly with, like... Hey, Mr. Gazin, how would you like to suck my balls? Is the greatest... <laughs> is the greatest... Come back. What did you say? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And what I meant to say was, and it's like megaphone. Meant to get his hand. How would you like to suck my balls? And you're like, oh, it's so good. And then when Cartman. That, that you do that voice so cool. It doesn't awesomely sound like him, but you do it better. It's, like, it's, you know? it's, it's comparable. Like, it's not perfect, but it's comparable. Yeah, it is. You know? It's That's, very comparable. It's, like, it's better than I could ever do. We know this. <laughs> That's so awesome. He's so good. Okay, no. And when he started Member listen. berries, too. Remember this? Member berries? Do you remember the member berries 
on South Park? You haven't watched it recently. No. The member berries. No. Oh, because they're like, because everybody tries to go back to remember when this happened, remember when that happened, uh -oh. remember when this happened, just so that way they can bring it up. Like everyone nowadays is reminding me of like a girlfriend going through a boyfriend's phone trying to find something because he, she swears yeah. that he said something to a girl in the grocery store last Tuesday. So he wants, she wants to find that bitch in his phone. That's what society is reminding me of these days. So, like, you know, you know a jealous girlfriend. <laughs> it's worse, though. Like, and you know what? You're absolutely right. That's, that's, that, it's like, it's honestly, it's the jealous girlfriend of a guy who's already double married. You know what I mean? Like, do you understand? Like, it's it's that kind of situation yeah. where you're like, dude, you're already <laughs> fucked, and now you're dating crazy? This is just a bad yeah. idea. And that's, so, I don't know if you've watched any news, um, one of the big things was there was a judge. Uh, we can talk about a little bit about conspiracy theories. That's a touch on on UFOs. Yeah, okay, I love that's a start. Shit. Okay. <laughs> so there was a yeah. judge. A judge in New York was assigned to uh, Jelaine Maxwell's case. Okay. Yeah. Now, Jelaine Maxwell, her case is being handled instead of the sex crimes unit. It's being handled by the uh, uh, public, the Office of Public Corruption, or something like uh, to that effect. So yeah. it the crimes that she's been accused of are pedophilia and under it, like dealing with minors and trafficking and stuff like that. Yeah. So why is it being handled by the Office of Corruption? Doesn't make sense. Number two, so that yeah. that judge, a guy came to her house. What this is this is fucked up. A guy came to her house dressed up as a delivery man. The her husband opened the door. The delivery guy killed uh, their child. And shot the husband who's in critical condition. She was oh in God. she was in the basement. Okay. Now yeah. they said about like I think later today they found uh, another lawyer. So her husband was a, a criminal defense lawyer. So they said, well, maybe it was a hit on him. Yeah. Possible, unbelievable, but possible. I know. Of yeah. course, that, but let's just say <laughs> now the person yeah. they're they're blaming it for is another lawyer who has defended anti-feminists. What the fuck does no. that mean? Oh, hey, yeah. and, and the anti-feminist lawyer wasn't caught. He actually killed himself. Oh, what a no surprise. Oh now, my God. the fact is, if this you kill, so it's really fucked. If you kill a judge, <sighs> the whole system, the whole thing starts over again and you get a new judge. By yeah. kill by going in and shooting her son and husband, what you've told her is number one, everyone's touchable. Number two, yeah. do as you're told or things get worse. You know that yeah. that reminds me of old school '60s mafia. That's what that reminds me of. Oh yeah, that is some well, hard that's organized who's running type shit. The whole world it, right no, now. No, not that that's mafia. Who's running the there's there's <laughs> old school mafia at play here. That people we are not we are not qualified Democrats. to deal with. <laughs> Clintons. <coughs> let's not uh, let's not accuse anyone. Just so we can stay alive right now, I'm just gonna say let's, we don't know who. We, allegedly, like, there are many Clintons. parties involved. What I do know. Yay, Clinton! <laughs> yay, Clinton! Hey, hey, Clinton. Let, let's not yay. let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. Let's not cheer. I'll yay Putin. Yay no. Putin. Definitely Putin. That's it. Yay Putin. Yay Clintons. Not Clintons. <laughs> I will like okay Clinton, but yay Putin. That's what I'll do. Let's let's do that. That's a fair. Uh, Clinton's will kill us quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, 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 I think I can take right him. Now. I can take him. I, I don't want to take Putin. Putin is dangerous. He scares no. me. Yeah. He rode yeah. a bear. I can't. We love you. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. There are those pictures of him on the horse with the shirt off, and I'm like, I would not fuck with that. If he, listen, if I was in a field with fully automatic I weapons. I will pee on you. Apparently, he likes that. I'll pee on you. <laughs> I'll pee on you I'm too. No problem. For your charge. You just let me know when and where, and I'll be all stocked up. I got a full bladder and ready to go. This is, honestly, it's really like. This is, it's, it's terrifying what's happening right now. So a lot of, uh, yeah, yeah hit that yeah. door. I'll keep talking. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you never shut it. up, fat boy. Thanks. I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the I problem. I already have my smart video out there. So I'm good for like a few. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> hasn't been posted yet, guys, but I got a smart one coming up. <laughs> a very smart one. You know what? She took over the whole show. I just sat there and ate the whole time. Uh, I, Which she, is usually what I do. She emasculated me. She told me to shut up a bunch of times. She told me. She wait. told me to do the truffle shuffle. She told me to do the truffle shuffle, people. I didn't do it. I have respect for myself. Ooh, can you for like a second? For like a no, second? fuck you. Okay, that will never when happen. Live. <laughs> when we're live, we'll make it happen. <laughs> I got you guys. Listen, <laughs> when we get this running live, if you and the editor try and lock me out of a room until I do the truffle shuffle, I will Kool Aid Man right through the fucking wall and then beat the living shit out of both of you. Okay, let's be very clear. I will beat you to death with your own. I will grab both your fists and just start punching you. Say, "Why? Well, stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself!" Okay. Oh my god, that's so funny. I've had somebody do that. <laughs> it's really not voice. funny. It's, so it's very satisfying, so though. <laughs> so my many cousin and my uncles yeah. have definitely done that to me. And I used to fart when I laugh, when I got like laughed. So they used to tickle me so bad so that way I'd fart and cry at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just I'm going to so <laughs> Why? I think I this is on myself. <laughs> That's fair. That's you. Just, you probably deserve that. That was awesome. It's not. You know, I feel bad. You know, I feel bad for the people who listen to us because they can't see us laughing. They hear you laugh all the time, and they're like, "No, I'm but." But then I laugh and it's usually silent because I go. I am sorry, guys who are listening. I'm very, very sorry to the listeners. She's not sorry. I it's a lie. I can't help it. Well, how can I help it? They know going in. <laughs> I'm sure everybody has had pre warning that would ever listen to this. Because <laughs> nobody's referring a friend and not telling them. But the girl's voice, a little atrocious, or her laugh, a little atrocious. But you're going to love it. I believe Crystal just said atrocious, which is definitely not a word. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm just going to say that. Uh, it's fuck you, okay? She made up big words last time. She took over the show. She just made up words. And I was just like, that's not a word. And she's just like, I just shut up, fat boy. I'm talking here. And then I get labeled as the aggressive one. I don't know. I don't know. Do I? Is that really not a word? <laughs> there's there's obstruction. Uh, no. <laughs> assertion. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, no. <laughs> really atrocious. 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 That's you said be. atrocious. You had a B in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Atrocious. That, that atrocious. That is atrocious? that. That's a word. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not obtrusive. Um, it's definitely not obtrusive. <laughs> it's okay. specifically? No, it's specifically. It's not specifically. Oh. Yeah. oh. Supposedly? <laughs> well, you know. It's not, it's not supposedly. Supposedly. Why? Why does it. Oh. Let's just move on. Well, you know what? Let's just move on. <laughs> We've had very different experiences in life, giving us differing strengths. That mean combined, we are stronger. <laughs> Let's just say that. And I mean combined okay. in a common goal. I don't mean combined in an inappropriate way. I love my wife. Um, That's not what anybody was thinking anyways. <laughs> listen, when it's my sexy face, everyone's thinking that shit, okay? Actually, yeah, that's I, right. I undid the button on my foxy dress too, so it's all game. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, is the people who listen to this on Spotify, Anchor, and Pocket Cast, okay, thank you for listening, but they're like, she's getting naked, let's go to the YouTube and just check that shit out. That's, I'm pretty sure what's happened. These people are like, hey, fuck this, I want to see what, I want to see what kind of cans this lady has. Maybe the fat guy's got some cans too. Um, oh, sorry to disappoint oh, you. I can't see your t-shirt. Yeah, my t-shirt says fuck it, and I don't have any titties. I'm sorry. I, uh... <laughs> I try and be a pleasant surprise, but uh, I'll tell you, I got a mug for radio. I got a beard for pictures, okay. 
But a face for radio. That's 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 okay. I'm okay with no, it. No, you got a face for TV. You have a face for TV too. I got a TV. Because... I got a face for like '50s TV where it's black and white and a little grainy. I would pass fine. Okay, that would be easy. But like new, like 4K. I have a face for filtered. Listen, 4K HD. That is not the face for me. Okay, that is not. That is not gonna look good. Oh shit. Okay? Fuck. Yeah, about time. <laughs> I hope that I don't ever have to do anything like that. Do you think? Okay, so I didn't want to mention online, everybody, yet, because I hate jinxing shit, and it seems that every time I mention something, I jinx it. But on Thursday, I have a and, meeting and with a Max Talent Agency. With a Ooh. so we don't instead of saying who they are, we say you have a meeting with a recruiter. Oh. That's <laughs> what we say. <laughs> yes. I See? have a meeting with a recruiter. Yay! That's what we have. Yay! <laughs> I'm like, don't say the person's name. This is their name. Like, Fuck! <laughs> don't say their name! No, that's good. That's wonderful. And listen, yeah, just remember... So, but I don't really want to be an actor, though. I really want to stay in comedy. Because I'm not good at... We know that I'm not good at acting. We know that I'm not good at voices. Listen, okay. I'm not good at impersonating. You're, you, you, <laughs> and she's like... She's like... It's modeling and acting. And I'm like, I'm definitely not a model. I'm almost 40. Like, unless you got some, like, don't do drugs kids. Pictures that you want me to pose for. Like... <laughs> like Crystal does not I'm look like a drug tampons. addict. Okay, let's be very clear. <laughs> She looks like a, she's a good-looking lady. She is she is looking for her one and only penis. Okay, she's looking for her forever penis. Yes, everyone. my forever penis. She's not looking for That's random solicitations. She's looking for committed people. Okay, let's not let's not let's not undersell things. We want to make sure we get the right crowd. Yes, let's upsell. Right? Yes, um, because Max Talent Agency wants a classy broad. Listen, and there's and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Just remember, you know, if listen, a, a talent agency is great, and that's see what I don't understand. I, I this is my thing is that I uh, I'm now starting to do little things here and there, and I'm excited about it. But people are like, "Oh, you need to get an agent," and I'm like, "If somebody wants to be my agent, you contact me." I'm not going to give you a there cut you of my well I'm not going to give you a cut of my money for and then I have to search for you. Why don't you go fuck yourself, okay? Yeah. You come talk to me if yeah. you're interested and we'll negotiate. But I'm not fucking coming to you. You can eat shit and die. Okay? That's, <laughs> the whole principle just doesn't make sense. So I don't understand that, but No, no, you got to let them come to you. Because I did apply it, and I had, like, a couple places, but I never ended up pursuing it before. But those are places more that I sent out a bunch of emails yeah. to, like, everybody, basically, just, you know, putting myself out there. Not for acting. I just really wanted to get more comedy gigs. Yeah. So I was, like, emailing everybody and their brother. So the talent agencies, That's like, awesome. if you put yourself out there still, yeah. they see you eventually, right? So Absolutely. you just got to keep putting yourself, people do got to do that. Well, look, and like I, you, you, you've gotten little things since you've been out and about and stuff too. Like yeah, that's how it happens. Absolutely. <laughs> and I've been doing this for years. Yeah. So it just shows you how ugly I am. <laughs> Crystal's been doing it for a couple of months, <laughs> and people are like, "You're the greatest, Crystal. You're fantastic." Can no, we? Get not. You? And they're like, "Can you keep that fat guy yeah. away from us, though? He looks scary. <laughs> he looks very angry Check and aggressive." It. I don't think so. Technically, I was on stage for many years before you. Just not in this kind of same manner. Just <laughs> so I have a little bit more, and a lot more of me was on stage well, than you. For first so time I'm a listeners, little bit more comfort. For, for first time listeners, Crystal used to be a, a mime. That's what she was. She would mime yeah, out acting yeah. on stage. And that was yeah, her career was. beforehand. Uh, yep. And that was that was what happened. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Look at me. Oh, fuck, you can't look at me, listeners. But if you could, you would see that I'm doing a box. <laughs> it's not a good box. You should be happy you're not watching this. Because I'm watching it, and it's not good. <laughs> It, it's it's not even a box. Don't she's just put making that out she, there. The she, box is. She keeps making a line. She's making a line saying it's a box. It's not. She's using one hand. It's not a box. It doesn't make a box, people. The fuck is going on here? <laughs> you want to know what's funny? Is that in the camera because it's got like your face, like the profile white lines around you, so the box is at your face. So I'm in a box. In the camera. <laughs> I'm in a I box. Know. 
Even it's my camera. Everyone, so the worst. I can't get out. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> this is this is this has been an exciting time. I think we've had a great time. Um, we've had a half an hour of absolutely fuck all. We went out for thirty-five minutes, and we learned that Crystal isn't good at miming either. She's not good at singing. She's not good at impressions. No. She's definitely no. not good with technology. She's not good. With, no. She's not. She's not a good mime. Uh, no. She's not good at really voicing good at characters. She's very good at being Crystal. That's. I'll give you that. You're a great Crystal. <laughs> That's it. Um, so if you want me as a character, then great. She'll write the script. If not, she'll just. She just talk. Yeah. You see, everyone else has to have a script and set lines, and she'll just say whatever comes to mind, and that's all you're gonna get. And it will be perfect. It'll be perfect for what you've hired her for, because she is a true crystal. That's what it is. That's what it is. Can you imagine them trying to cast me or you? Who the fuck would they get to play you? I can't think of a better you. Play me? Are you kidding me? I would be like, listen. Other than Brad Pitt. <laughs> I would put Tom, you know what? <laughs> Tom Cruise from Tropic Thunder wearing the fat suit. That's who I want to play me, right there. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Les Ma Wes Tom Mantu? Cruise was not in Tom He was not in Tropic Thunder, Tom yeah. Cruise. He was the fat, bald guy. Really? The guy who danced at the end? Yeah, that was Tom Cruise. Yeah. That was Tom Cruise. I don't remember that. I own that movie. So Crystal's oh also not good at memor re remembering things. <laughs> she's not good at identifying people. Um, she's walked by me. We, we said hi already. And I was like, hey. And she just ignored me and walked by. I, she thought I was furniture. It was, um, it was a great day. I felt uplifted because all the furniture was very, very thin. So I just assumed she thought I was thin furniture, which is a compliment in my book. That's a useful thing because... Like a rocking chair thin. Like a, you never see a thick rocking chair. I really wish I had a fat rocking chair in my house so I could just bring it out and show me. You mean this kind of rocking chair? The one that's only made for fat people? You fucking bastard. No! Even my thin furniture is fat, because I'm fat. That's what I get. Because it'll break under you, no! fat boy. I was trying to think of furniture that you could be that was just thin. For, just for that, I'm going like, to have... What is thin furniture? Just for that, I'm going to have some nuts. I didn't understand what... I just didn't understand what thin furniture was. I was like, what is thin furniture? Like, like a rocking chair is thin, like a, a post, lawn chair. A post? Like a, a, a po post? Like a coat hanger? There's no post in their house, like random post. Like a coat hanger? Like, that's pretty thin furniture, I guess. <laughs> like a hanger in general. Like a <laughs> These nuts are literally covered in sugar and honey, and they're not <laughs> enough for me to deal with you, you fucking mental I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> It's like, okay, let me try and match her energy. I have a stroke. Clearly, this is not going to be a level obtained by you. Like, let's get realistic here for a moment. Look, there's a big word. Is that what a real word? Realistic? Uh, there's a real word. <laughs> okay. Now you got me all subconscious about my real words, uh, my real big words. Once okay. again, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> no, you're not at all. I just want to make sure that I'm not fucking up because I wonder if there's somebody else that's not gimp like me that wants to be <laughs> this listening to this. <laughs> no, I assume that our viewers are more like Dino kind of viewers. <laughs> like, <laughs> just so everyone listening awesome, knows, you guys. our then, viewers are all gorgeous and very, yeah. very, very smart. That's obviously what and it is. And so are our listeners as <laughs> well. Our listeners are as well. And we thank you for joining us, gorgeous, smart people, <laughs> for our talk about absolutely fuck all today. <laughs> I hope no one is ever like me. I want to be a one of a kind. 
Like I didn't just break yeah. the mold. Is I that ate where it. we've come to this? Listen, I don't. I don't. I, I didn't it. just break the mold. I ate it afterward. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> well, uh. my creator, my God, he definitely broke it. He was like Christ. <laughs> even he said that. <laughs> he said Christ because he even swore his name in vain. Like and he was like, <laughs> this is not gonna work. I don't know what to do with this one. They're like, just let it go. He's like, all right, we'll see what happens. He's like, terror. He even said, God damn it, himself. He said, no, he said, me damn it. He didn't even say goodness. He's like, me damn it. He said, God damn it. Me damn it. Damn it all hell. No, I got nuts in my teeth. It's horrible. They're very tasty. I had corn on the cob earlier. Do you like corn on the cob? I have a kick ass recipe. Why? Don't it's say it. Corn on the cob? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Let's put tell me your kick ass recipe. I'm not going to tell it to everybody. What are you crazy? This is a secret. <laughs> For corn uh, on the cob. Uh, yeah. Let's put it this way, okay? Are you going to patent it? <laughs> you, can't pat you don't patent a recipe. You copyright it or c what? trademark it. Yeah. You don't patent a recipe? No. You copyright it. It's oh. paper. Um. Uh, so what this this is my experience so a friend of mine a close friend of mine showed me this recipe and it's fantastic now I took this recipe I gave it to my mom I told her how to do it <laughs> for our listeners Crystal just uh, maybe over served on that bong hit and just looked at me and was just like oh I'm not got the run off that one nah. so <laughs> I just got sweaty. <laughs> How do you take a bong hit and get sweaty off it? That just doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that is a whole other level of shit going down. Anyway, anyway, so I took it to my mom and she was like, mm, all right, if you say so. Then the next, she called me the day after and was like, holy shit, that was delicious. Now, we went. But I don't understand how you can make corn on the cob different. Like, <laughs> Listen. No, no, nobody trusts. Least, nobody, hey. nobody trusts a thin chef. Okay, sorry. I feel bad for you. Okay, if you see a thin chef, that is not going to be a good meal. It's going to be a small, dainty meal, maybe very flavorful, but he ain't going to come out of there going, "Ah, I feel good," you know. So I took this. Not the way I cook. I've been engaged three times for a reason. <laughs> Guys, you heard it here. If you're not looking for mime work, she's a great chef. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I took this. Yeah. This is the funny thing is, so I grew up in Brampton. Brampton has a lot of cornfields. It's got a very good corn that's out there, and it's very delicious. Mm. Now, I went to the States uh, with a, fr a friend of mine that I've, I'm no longer friends with, but we went down to meet to go to his in-law's beach house, and it was great. But he pissed him off. Uh, no, he betrayed, <laughs> he betrayed my friendship, and I said, no, I'm, I'm worth better than that. That's, and there's nothing wrong with it. And it was it was like a it was like an eight year friendship. And I was just like, sorry, I deserve to be treated better. You've disrespected me and my wishes. I'm out, you know. Uh, but so Spitches. the funny thing was his father in law, who was a super hospitable guy and everything, he <coughs> also treats my, this this friend that I had. He didn't really treat him with much respect uh, because he was a bit of a buffoon. And and the guy's daughter was also. A little bit, uh, she is a little bit rambunctious. She's from the States. Let's just say it that way, okay? Yeah. So she's just, she's, you're no. saying, going, she's not a, she's not a dumb person, but she's one of those people who's like, ah, I don't get older. I'm going to boycott that place because, uh, somebody was wearing one slipper. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's just a nut job, right? So anyways, so I tell him, I go, I have a recipe for corn. And he's like, well, our corn's pretty great. I'm like, oh, okay. So now me being me. I know how to deal with these situations because I've had to deal with people who are a little bit um, authoritative and think they know everything. I said, well, you know what? How about we make half your way and we'll do half my way? And he's like, okay. Yeah. Now, so I made mine, which was gone, including him eating from it. He tried to eat his. <laughs> and then literally the one that I made, all of it was gone. It, like instantly because we we're like this is the best corn i've ever had and he was like he's not even going to share a little bit of this recipe with oh not at all <laughs> then he, he turns around and he's like you know what you he and she was goes you know what you're right your recipe that's a lot better i'm like oh i, I hope you enjoy using like, it what is this recipe like instead of salt and butter you put something else 
I'm not like, gonna tell anyone you, on camera. I have I, a recipe for look. corn and tzatziki that is surpass all, and I will not share them. Uh, tzatziki, bleh. I will fire your ass from this podcast. You say that one more time, lady, <laughs> okay? I will beat the shit out of you. My tzatziki is to die for. To die for. Yeah? Yes, Okay. To die for. To die for. I and think kill. I had it only And like kill. One. <laughs> oh, you had it. She had it once, and it was probably just runny yogurt. Fuck you, Crystal. God damn it. <laughs> that is one of my biggest. You know, as a Greek, as a Greek person who knows how to cook some food and cook well, mm -hmm. that is my biggest anger. Is when someone says, "Oh, yeah, we have tzatziki, and it's just yogurt with dill," and I'm like, "Forget this shit away from <laughs> me before I beat you to death with your own yogurt, you piece of shit." That's not tzatziki. And anyone who says it's tzatziki. Tzatziki, you do not get from a recipe book. You get it from generation to generation. You pass down, <laughs> you make it the best. You don't give free. You don't just, oh, you take and you take. No, you don't give that way, okay? It's not how you become great. That's true. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, Be Greek some more. <laughs> that, was just, no, that was just English sounding like a Greek person. That was not Greek. I, I know. <laughs> Fucking hell. Can you talk to me? I in actually, Greek? I did. No. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to debase oh my myself. Um, Dude, you, you're not going to understand it. It's, you're not going to understand. Oh, I just want to hear it. It will be no. fun. No. No. The I ladies want to hear it. Can we the hear ladies, it? I, yeah, I am a taken man, and the ladies won't get it. I'm sorry. I'm not for sale. We want to hear it. Just say a little. I'll talk a little bit French to you. No, Just I don't want French. No. Le jus, la la pousse. <laughs> that was not an agreement. Le jus, la la pousse. It means it's the game seven up in French. It means put your head on your. Baiser tête means put your head down. La la pousse means put your thumb up. And femme le jus means close your eyes. <laughs> so it's the game seven up. So put your head down, put your thumb up, and close your eyes, and strap in for a good time. <laughs> Let's do this, folks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking Greek. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm not some sort of dancing monkey. You I am a dancing gorilla. Do not know Greek. Do you not know how to speak Greek? Oh, you think that's gonna work on me, eh? Well, I, guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess you don't know it, huh, Mr. Braggy? Oh. Let's see your passport. <laughs> no, I know you weren't born in Greece. So. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It was funny. A few years ago, uh, Victoria went to London. So I went with her for a little bit, and then I went to Greece. Because I hadn't been in years. And uh, when I went there, I was talking with a few people. And I said, I... In I, Greek? In Greek, obviously. Yeah, people in Greece speak Greek. <laughs> Anyway. What were you saying? Can you tell us a little bit about what you were saying? Well, I told them, I said, I know I speak like I'm some sort of a uh, heathen. And they, <laughs> and they were like, no, you, you sound like someone who was born here but lives abroad. And I was like, oh, thank you. It's so nice. Because, like, I don't, I was never born in Greece. So I'm like, and trust me, when I, when I walk around in Greece, people are like, what the fuck are you? Like, they just look at me, they're like, who the fuck are you? You ain't work no fields around here. I'm like, nah, that's true. I have, I have worked one field ever, and I thought I was going to die. And I was like, a, I was like 16 years old. And it was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was like, keep working. I'm like, this is fucking shit work. Are you crazy? <laughs> and he was like, oh, we'll go back. We'll go home for lunch and we'll come back. Luckily, that day, my cousin came and he goes, what have you guys been doing? Because me and my brother were the only ones that were working. And we were literally like hunched over in the sun pulling weeds out of a field. Okay. And we're both yeah. fat, out of shape, like <laughs> ill-equipped to do this work. Okay. And then turn, <laughs> my dad's like, yeah, we're going to go back to the fields. And my cousin's like, we don't, you don't let your workers out past nine o'clock in the morning. It gets too hot. Are you trying to kill your kids? And my dad's like, <laughs> what's the big deal? And my cousin's like, are you insane? He's like, I'm not letting you take the boys out. We're going to go, I'm going to take them into the city because you're going to have them killed. Yeah. And my dad's like, well, maybe <laughs> I should do it. And my, my, my cousin's like, go for it. You won't last five minutes. <laughs> And my dad literally went there, <laughs> did it for five minutes, came back, was like, oh, we'll hire some people to do it. I'm like, thank you. What the fuck is the point of having Canada money in Greece if you're not going to hire people to do shit work? That just doesn't make sense. No, what the fuck? No, because look, my dad's whole life, him going back to Greece, was everyone asking him for money, right? And I don't mean that, like, yeah. 
they've never asked me for any money. No one's ever treated me like that. But my dad loved to give that money because that was he went to Canada to make money for his family. So he would take people out for dinner. Yeah. He had a, he he enjoyed himself. He had yeah. let some to some people. It was fine. It's, they were great people. I love my family everywhere. But yeah. but it's like. No, no, no. What's the point of like the only reason I don't live in Greece now is because I can't make the money that I make here in Greece. Now I make yeah. no money, so that doesn't really help me. But yeah. but now I have a wife, and she. I'm a house husband, a shit house husband. <laughs> but it's just gonna, it's gonna be. I don't know. Someday I'll talk Greek. Maybe I'll do. A, I'll, I'll I'll do a Greek podcast and make fun of you the whole time. It'll be great. Uh, you should see Crystal's face when I said I'll, t- I'll agree podcast. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Crystal will send me. I gotta learn how to speak Greek. <laughs> well, I'll do it too. <laughs> no, no, it's a great language. It's not. It's not a complex <laughs> language. Once you learn, like, so it's very phonetic. So essentially, once you learn the alphabet, technically you sh- should be able to read. But then you have to figure. Like, yeah. it's just it just takes time, right? But. <laughs> you guys should know, this is the thing, is every time me and Crystal talk, and she's, because apparently I come across as very, very enraged and, like, ready to kill somebody every time I text her something. So, <laughs> she's like, I love doing this podcast, I want to keep doing this podcast, and I'm like, why does it sound like either you're quitting or I'm firing you when nobody's ever said anything like that? I'm like, I don't understand <laughs> And so I read, just so you know, I read the text you sent me. I said the the text that she sent me today about me harassing her to send me the video. I read it to Victoria, and Victoria's like, did you fire her? And I'm like, I don't employ her. I don't know what's happening right now. It was pretty funny. No, because I was like, no, because I was just, you know, sometimes people get self-conscious and I'm not always well perceived. Look at my face. I am not. How are you self-conscious because of this? I am not. No, I mean, in general, I'm always like, is the person going to want to hang out with me longer than a little bit? Because, you know, I'm tolerated to a certain extent. You guys will notice this. (laughs) And (laughs) so it's just like, is he still going to want to do it with me? Have I gone too far? When Crystal says, do it with her, she's meaning the podcast. (laughs) The podcast. Let's be very clear. I love my wife. The podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell. I don't know. I don't. I get self-conscious. You know, because I'm like, maybe they don't think I'm funny no more. I'll be honest with you, though. There's some times that I step in and be like, hey, we need to talk. And people are like, what the fuck, man? And I'm like, listen, you did a great job. Uh, What do you think we could do better? And they're like, that's what you want to talk about? I'm like, yeah, that's what we need to talk about. And they're like, I thought you were fucking good. And I'm like, why would you think that? I think we're doing great. And that's why I'm like, listen, I'm, that's... It's just like your persona sometimes. It's like... And maybe just because you're so much more of like, um... Like, uh... I don't want to say, like... Go for it. An adult than I am, so I'm like... Old. She meant old. Fuck. You look like an old git that just complains and just... Well, in my day, you know what we did with people? We walked uphill both ways. Sideways too. No, it was a four-sided hell. I don't even mean old. I don't mean old. Curmudgeonly. I just mean that your lifestyle is a lot more adult than mine. Like you know. Like, I do stand-up comedy, a do. podcast, and sleep like eighteen hours a day. I don't know what that means. Okay. Well, you've been more of an adult than I have been. That may so, be true. That know. may be true. Maybe. Maybe. So, Maybe. Wow. No, actually, I have, but just in a more fun way, I guess. We have different... Uh, I'm not as, like, you know, by the lines as he is. I'm kind of out of the lines. I draw out of the lines. And Dino kind of stays within the lines. I don't stay in the lines because my fingers are fat and everywhere. I can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I dip the book in paint. I'm just like, here, it's colored. Fuck off. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, I actually am really bad at coloring. That's actually a true thing. I was jealous because girls, <laughs> girls would always make those like thick lines on the edge, and then it would be like a lighter shade on the inside. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how to do that. I'm like, I have no idea. And then I would do it, and it would just look like shit. Every time I colored them, I'm like... Yeah, it's colored. Fuck you. I'm like, like, yo, maybe you could. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to be a professional colorer. How about that? So fuck off. 
<laughs> it's like it doesn't. No, see, that's that's my problem. Is if you don't tell me why this is beneficial, I'm like fucking leave me alone. You know. <laughs> It's very, that's why I have a hard time with certain things. Like people are like, "Hey, you need to clean the house." I'm like, "No, I'm gonna pay someone to clean because I don't want to clean it. That's what I want." And people are like, they're like, "Well, you should just do it." I'm like, "You should go fuck yourself. If you want to clean, why don't you go clean it? Why are you telling me to fucking clean?" I've gone. Listen, five years of marriage and I'm still fighting this fight. I don't give a shit. She's like, "Well, can you vacuum?" No, I can't. I don't want to vacuum. I find the whole process annoying. You have a shit vacuum. I don't enjoy the whole thing. I told you in the first place I wanted hardwood floor down here. She's like, "Well, it's cold." You all wear slippers. Who gives a shit if it's cold? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't know what's happening. We're out of time. <laughs> Let's uh, do a motivational. Yeah, we gotta do a motivation. Motivating um, channel. I got something. Yeah, sure. Let's let's talk about something. Um, uh, I want to hear you motivate somebody right now. <laughs> I can do it. Um, <laughs> okay, let's hear it. <laughs> we are in the midst of. Uh, the culmination of many people coming to the light of uh, being unable to communicate face to face. This is a lost art, I feel. Uh, I was fortunate enough to learn to public speak from a very young age, and I enjoyed it very much. And now, with especially with comedy, I'm using those skills on a regular basis. With this, I use those skills because I feel that they're beneficial. Um, a lot of people don't know how to communicate though face to face and with that like I constantly am judged by a an interpretation of a tone or an assumption of how things sound because people will have their own feelings on the side I think it's a valuable thing that we need to start doing is um, calling people talking on the phone or even using technology we have so much technology using face-to-face -face communication i think is something that we're losing track of and losing uh worth of that we really need to get back to um like my mother she came back from florida just as everything was going to shit and um i haven't seen her in months and uh we talk about once a week i'll message her every so often but i miss her i miss her a lot and it's, I'm scared because I know she's, she, my, two of my siblings and their wives live in the same house, so I know she's taken care of, but I don't, I haven't seen my mom's face. And it hurts me to know that there are so many of us that haven't seen our close friend. You haven't seen your family member, maybe a spouse that's overseas. Um, some people have jobs that take them away, like people on oil platforms, uh, working in different countries where right now we're not feeling that power. We're losing touch with looking people eye to eye. And I think that's something that we're losing, not just on a, on a peripheral or, or, or a, a, a just a physical sense, but our emotions are communicated. People say that the eyes are the window to the soul. So looking somebody in the eye and being able to talk with them about maybe a subject that's bothering us or maybe something that we have questions about is something that we need to bring back into our lives because we're relying on communication and that is isn't communicating it's not giving us the satisfaction of that communication and then we're bombarded with these requirements in the past where it's like oh we have to have a meeting about this and we never had there was no actual communication it's nothing that could have been done with an email um so figuring out how important that is to look at somebody face to face and say hi I've missed you is something that I think we need to start saying, even if it's just a video recording and sending it to somebody of saying, hey, uh, I know you're busy. Uh, you may not have time to talk, but I just want to say, hey, and uh, hopefully you can send me a video back. Just I, I miss your face. And you know what? I've had people say they miss my face and I'm fucking I look like a fucking Shrek. <laughs> so listen, guys, when we don't talk. I end up missing your face. <laughs> and you know what? And I feel the like, same way. Aww. When we don't when we don't have yeah. these recordings, I'm like, you know what? It feels yeah. weird. Just because it, it having does. a conversation <laughs> it's 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 yeah. something we're missing. It's important. And I really think I'm sorry that you haven't seen your mom in a while. It's okay. It happens. <laughs> I didn't and really know that and I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. No, and I appreciate it. It's I'm sorry. I, mm -hmm. I hope I can see her soon. And that's and I'm doing it I don't yeah. want my mom is is older. 
I don't want to put her at risk. I don't want to put her life in jeopardy. And if that means I have to stay away, then I will stay away as long as it's needed. Um, but it's scary. It's a scary thing to go through. Yeah. And that's, you know, um, I can only imagine how bad it would have been if my, uh, uh, you know, if my dad was still around and uh, he was, you know, in that situation. It's it's not an easy thing to go through. And that's something that we have to deal with. But I think, yeah, that's, I th really think that we need to start, stop messaging each other and start talking with each other even by video just so yeah. we can hear each other's voice and and read our facial expressions once again i think that's all i gotta say yeah all right yeah crystal i, like it. I concur <laughs> nice word <laughs> nice word crystal where can everybody find I you i heard that on a movie <laughs> everybody can find me <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crystal. Where, where can everybody find simply, you? Simply me on YouTube mm -hmm. and Morning Motivational Rant as well on YouTube and <coughs> Spotify and blah 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 blah, which Dino will say. Um, and then you can find me Crystal Rancy on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Dino, bum bum bum, Laura Dino. Where can everybody find you? I am <laughs> Dino the Genic Marvel. You can find me on uh, YouTube. I have a Facebook fan page, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, leave a comment, let us know if there's something you guys want us to talk about. We're happy to address any subject. It may take us three or four tries, but we will do our best. Uh, as well, Morning Motivational Rant. We have videos on YouTube, which are uploaded at 10 a.m. Uh, Monday to Friday. And as well, we have audio that is now going out through Anchor to Anchor, to Pocket Cast, and to Spotify. Again, we are uploading them with the same information uh, at 10 a.m. every morning. And uh, we are going to keep this rolling as long as we can, guys. But in the meantime, keep Yay. on keep on going, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Keep on trucking, folks. Bye.